Medical X-ray specialist Brian Ritchie here to tell you a little bit more about disc herniations. Now, whether you have one, your parents have one, your spouse has one, someone you know, chances are, has one. Okay, it's one of the most common injuries of the spine. But most people don't exactly know what's going on. So what I want to do is demystify it a little bit for you so you have some understanding of what's going on. Now, in my hand right here, I've got two vertebrae, two lumbar vertebrae, L5 and L4. They sit together like two pieces of a puzzle. Now, right now as we look at this, there's no disc here. And you can see how there's very little space here in between, what we call the intervertebral space. That's an area where nerves come out, so it's a very, very important area, and we want it to actually be as large as possible. So, we have discs in there. The discs are there in order to provide shock absorption, and also to allow a little bit of movement and space. So I'm gonna grab a normal, healthy disc. It's gonna sit on top of L5 and under L4. So if you see, there's plenty of room here now. There's plenty of room for our nerves to pass through. Okay. This is a healthy disc. A healthy disc sort of looks like a sandwich, okay? And it allows us a little bit of spinal movement as well, forward and back, side to side. What happens when you herniate a disc? Okay. A disc herniation looks a lot like this. So, we're gonna put this in here and close this up. Now, if you can see, does that hole look like it's as clear as it used to be? One side, we still have a lot of area where the nerve can come through, don't we? Let's turn that around. Can you see the occlusion? Can you see how it's actually pushed into the, sp the space? So it's gonna block where those nerves are coming out. It's gonna cause impingement. What does impingement cause? Everything from sciatic nerve pain. It causes uh, numbness, tingling, radiating pain down the leg, or just pure pain. So this is a disc herniation. Now oftentimes to help correct this, we can do exercise, we can do surgery, where they actually go in and remove this little piece, or they can even do a fusion if it's too bad and there's too much damage to the area where they can go in and actually remove this entire piece, put a spacer in there and actually fuse it together. So these are all different ways that they can deal with, the, with it. Once you do surgery though, there's no going back. Keep that in mind. A lot of people wanna jump into surgery. Surgery is the last resort. Last resort, if you can do it through exercise, I highly recommend you do that. 